Krishna doesn't interfere with our independence. It's the same with Guru. It doesn't interfere. It's your choice whether you want to serve or not. Be responsible for your own spiritual life. Simple living means you, you'll have time, more time for your Krishna consciousness. Invite a sannyasi to your home. Give him whatever he needs for his service. Whether it's, you know, something to eat, whether it's a donation which he can use to propagate Krishna consciousness. This is how Rihastas can live a very auspicious Rihasta life and then give up the Griya Medi mentality of I, me, and mine. We have senses, but we need to keep them under control. Unwanted miseries of material existence, they disappear just by the chanting alone. See how our mind becomes more peaceful, senses become illuminated with knowledge, and suddenly a feeling of hope and feeling free. But when the bird is covered in dust, then you cannot see your reflection. So yeah, this is why we must cleanse the heart. As we cleanse the heart, gradually we see who we are and what is our relationship with Krishna. Just by chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, we can uh, cleanse the heart. We are naturally very soft-hearted persons. We're soft-hearted and we're lovers of Krishna. But because we have been in contact with mayas for so long, our hearts have become hard, just like the ice. The sun will rise and it will melt the ice and it will retain its natural constitutional position. Daily chant the Hare Krishna mantra with sincerity. Your heart will soften again into its natural position as lovers of Krishna.